Hey there, hey, it's Elysian A and welcome back or welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I just wanted to talk about wedding things, marital things, engagement things, singlehood things, all of that good stuff. So if that is a topic that interests you, then keep on watching and let's get into it. <laughs> So today's video is just going to be a little chatty video about um, all things wedding, marriage, pre-marriage, all of that good stuff. Um, because y'all, I am getting married in three months. Three months. That is crazy. Like y'all have no clue how insane that is. Like, oh my goodness. It's like one of those things that feels like it's taking forever until it's it feels like it's going to be tomorrow. And then you just start stressing and panicking and freaking out because you don't know what you have to do, how you're going to do it, when you're going to do it, where you're going to do it, all those things. And it's just like, oh my gosh, like I feel like I have done nothing and everything at the same time. And it's stressful, but to God be the glory, we bless God for it all um <laughs> for the privilege and opportunity um I think it is very fascinating the things that God has been teaching me in this season um I'm gonna be honest I was one of those people that did not believe in an engagement longer than a year I was like that's just unacceptable um that will not be me under no circumstances like I rebuke that in Jesus name like I just was like no no engagements should not be long and now here we are <laughs> but in the same regard um it was very much so God or God ordained and you know it makes me think of the scripture I believe it's Proverbs 16 and 9 I believe it's Proverbs 16 and 9 that says that uh, a man's heart what is it a man's heart plans his makes his plans um but God orders his steps um or the heart of man makes his plans but God orders his steps um this was very much so like I made my plan and God ordered the steps um and I'm grateful for it because honestly y'all had Alan and I gotten married when I wanted us to get married who child like I don't believe in divorce and he doesn't believe in divorce either so that wouldn't have been an option but it would have been rough I'm not even lying to y'all it would have been rough and that's a major reason why we put it on hold why we paused it in the first place was because I after the loss of my cousin experienced severe depression depression and he um at the time that we were thinking about getting married like he was going through a lot of changes like new job new living situation new a lot of stuff um and dealing with a, a fiance who was severely depressed like and he was trying to navigate that and figure out how do I cater to you how do I you know not overstep boundaries but still like not not do anything you know um because he's like you're not my wife so there are some things I can't do but then it's like what can I do like he was trying to figure it out I was trying to figure it out I was checked out because I was just not here mentally um and it just would have been a very horrible way to start a marriage um it would not have been good ground good soil to uh begin a marriage and so both of us agreed like yeah let's wait and I'm so glad we did because now like that marriage is really on the horizon and I can like see it coming man I'm so excited like I'm nervous I'm not gonna lie because like I ain't never been a wife before okay I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> But I really am excited, like, oh my gosh, I get to marry my best friend. And that is just the most amazing feeling in the world. Like, ah! um, man, but 
just the conversations that he and I have had, um, the growth that he and I have had individually and collectively, um, this season of just God just teaching me to be patient, let patience have its perfect work. Like I truly believe that in this season of patiently waiting, he has really been perfecting some things in Alan and perfecting some things in me um, so that there can be a perfection um, in our marriage. And obviously perfection is uh, a little bit exaggerated because we're not perfect we are flawed humans and so there will be imperfections um in the marriage but i truly believe that it is god ordained um and that he will get the glory out of our relationship like for real for real for real i truly truly believe that um i want god to get the glory out of my life 100 percent um and so you know marrying alan is a part of my life and I want him to get the glory in that. And let me tell y'all, like he's already getting the glory because the number one reason I did not believe in long engagements is because I vowed to celibacy, which is no sex before marriage. Um, but specifically, so there's abstinence, which is like absolutely no sex before marriage. And then there's celibacy, which is like, I had a little bit of sex and I'm gonna stop having sex until marriage so um I had sex before it was like yeah no I don't want to do that I want to be celibate with the man that I marry and I was like <laughs> more than a year of waiting no like it's not possible <laughs> I'm gonna slip up like I just <laughs> I did not see that being a realistic goal um but y'all God has been doing it like what like God has truly kept us like for real for real for real for real he has kept us and it is such a beautiful thing like it's just so amazing to be fully in love with someone without the confusion of I like the way they make me feel or I enjoy the way they make me feel and it's just like no I enjoy your presence I enjoy communicating with you i enjoy fellowshipping with you i just enjoy being around you being with you and nothing is 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 tainted and we're not wearing rose colored glasses that are making things that are horrible look amazing like no it really is good like looking at it and seeing that it really is good the relationship is good the man is good like and there's no well maybe or even like in times past it was kind of this whole like I would hold on to relationships because I had sex with them and it was like now I feel like I'm obligated to stay because you know oh he's in the church or he's a minister or whatever like we gotta get married now we have to it's biblical right like there were a lot of times I stayed in relationships solely because of that and not because they were actually good for me um but i can truly say that alan is good for me like oh my gosh i am not about to cry <laughs> why did i just start getting emotional um that's not even the type of person i am but anyway he really is good for me like he really is my best friend and I can go to him about anything and we can laugh about everything and I can be my goofy nerdy weird self around him and he loves it like he doesn't try to change me he doesn't ask me to alter in a way or you know oh can you laugh quieter or can you be less <laughs> you <laughs> like he is okay with me in every part of me and that is an amazing feeling um it's it's just incredible and even you know in this time of of being engaged like I've even been more intentional about spending time with God because um you know I've watched different podcasts and read different books that have said you know once you're married your time is 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 a little different and you don't get to spend the same time with God as you would before, which I don't really see how, how I could get it when you have kids, 
But I'm like, with a spouse, shouldn't there be like a... Anyway, we're going to see when I get there. <laughs> but um, I still have been more intentional about just spending that time with God um, and being just in his face and in his presence um, pre-marriage. And it's been a wonderful thing. And God has been cleaning some things up in me and, and showing me me and helping me um, to grow and to move into what he's called me to do and what he's called me to be and I'm still trying to figure it out and I'm still navigating some things I don't have all the answers but I do know that I'm closer than I've ever been before <laughs> um and I don't mean that as in like I'm closer to God than I've ever been before um though I, I probably am <laughs> um but um and I mean I've I've been close to God in different seasons of my life, in different ways in my life. Um, but what I mean by that is that I'm closer to figuring it out, I feel like. Um, I feel like I'm not as far off as maybe I once was. <sighs> but, um, you know, being engaged, it comes with its its pros and cons um one pro is that when I get hit on um I I don't have to say anything I can just go and they leave me alone <laughs> and I told Alan that I was like oh my gosh like that is the best thing in the world <laughs> to just tell a man like it's like hey hey shot hey and I'm just like and then he goes, oh, shoot, you marry all oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> and then they, shoo, shoo. So that's a pro. Um, another pro is like free taste testings and things of that nature. Um, but we really haven't even taken advantage of that. So we will, hopefully. <laughs> um, but cons, um, everybody, anybody and everybody will have advice to give. Um, and some advice is really good advice and others, you know, you take with a grain of salt. <laughs> you got to know how to separate the wheat from the tear because everybody's advice is not God advice. It's not godly advice. It's just people talking out of their own bitterness or out of their own hurt or out of their own disappointments. And it's not really edifying. Um, so that's kind of annoying. But it comes with the territory. Um, I mean, like, literally, everybody will have a comment about everything. They'll talk about what you're going to wear, what your colors are, what your theme is, what your venue is, what your... Uh, everything. Every single thing. Somebody will say something. Oh, my gosh, why are you having it at that time? Why can't it be at this time? Oh, my gosh, why are you having it there? Oh, my gosh, parking. <laughs> like, and you just have to stop and go, girl, man, boo, whoever you are, if you love me and if you love him, he will support us <laughs> and keep it moving. Um, I am getting more and more on the side of, you know what, it is my day. Like before I was very much so like, oh, well, what, do you, what do you want? What do you want to wear? What do you want to do? Like, and not just Alan, like my bridesmaids, everybody. I was just like, you know what? Now, I'm not rude with it. Like I'm not a bridezilla by any means, but I am more like, you know what? No, this is my day and I want this to go the way that I want it to go so period <laughs> but I am still just really excited um and just you know still prayerful and everything <sighs> I never saw me being here in this place not for real like I dreamed of it but not not really and and if I'm being fully honest growing up I always wanted a wedding and I always wanted kids I didn't really care about the marriage I didn't really care about the husband the husband was more of a means to an end right I just want kids so and I don't want kids out of wedlock so you know tag your it um but Prior to meeting Alan, I was starting to really understand like the beauty of marriage and the sanctity of marriage 
and I was really under getting an understanding of God's call to marriage and everyone won't be called to marriage everyone won't be a wife or a husband um but I was I was starting to get it like why people got married for real um and why people stayed married um and now that I have Alan, I'm even more excited about the marriage. Like I didn't even really want the wedding. That's how that's how you know it's real. Because all my life I had a wedding planned. My entire life I had a wedding planned. And with him, I was like, we don't have to do that. <laughs> we don't have to have a wedding. It's fine. You can go to the courthouse. Like, that's how you know when you change every one of your dreams when you change every one of your thoughts and your visions and it's like no i just want to be with you baby let me tell you it's an amazing feeling and i'm so grateful i'm just i'm so happy <laughs> i am so ecstatic and over the moon to have the opportunity to marry such an amazing man my best friend um yeah so again this was a little chit chatty video um just updating y'all on where i'm at with this whole thing um if i still want to marry him or whatever i do <laughs> um if i've gone crazy yet i haven't yet <laughs> no guarantees that i won't though um but yeah uh subscribe wait what am i saying um like this video if you like this type of content um subscribe to the channel and ring that notification video what and ring that notification bell so you can be notified of any upcoming videos i love you and jesus loves you so much more and remember you will never overcome that which is hidden and you will not conquer what you refuse to confront let's break some chains y'all <laughs>